All right, welcome back to part seven. Surprises going on for so long. I'm actually really liking this game. But in this episode, we're going to be trying to make like, I'm just going to say we're entering creative mode in a way, right? So the construction yards are nice, but the way I was working them last episode was very finicky. It was helpful, but not the full potential that they can be used in, right? So if I go over to the construction yard, that's a lot, that's a huge area that it can be built in. And let's see, I want to get like, little corner bit where my character is running to. I want to have that touch the edge of where we can build, which I assume is right here. So it fills up the most amount of room because then I could have a construction yard here lining around and then another on the other side. But um, basically, we're building it underground, hiding everything away, and then everything will just get delivered automatically. We might have to worry about some money, but nah, not really. I mean, we've got so much money from these bank towers and while we're making it, only reason I haven't done this before is because I don't know but i think it's expensive to dig underground i was just lining it up with the green circle around the whole place terrain subtract how does this work Subtract grass oh there we go yeah so i placed it somewhat around here i'm just gonna go down <laughs> shoot we're stuck down here uh, we're stuck there we go okay how big are these towers it's about oh i can actually count it with these blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so about ten I think that's one of the biggest towers we can make, right? I'm just going to go for 15 down. So if I want to build a tall tower, I can. It doesn't hit anything. So what are we at? 1, 2, 3, 15, 14, 15. And then we'll do 16 to be safe, I guess. And then we'll build out from here. And look at that money go. <laughs> it's raining. We're still at 1.5 million. So, I mean, with all this money going down, I think we're making more money up top on the floor. Wait, you can click drag? I didn't know that. We could just drag and... Oh, that makes it so much easier, dude. I'm over here clicking like crazy. For those of you that already knew that, man, I bet you're fuming I was doing that. This is going to take a little bit to have it roomy because I don't want to build and feel claustrophobic. I don't like claustrophobic feeling. Zero dollars. Oh, this is the border of the map. That's nice. I'm going to go this way to the border. Oh, that's the border. I guess that's smarter. If you're doing this as well, just dig down 15 and then go all the way across till you get like the corner of the map. See what I'm doing? I'm just going all the way down, and it's zero because that's the edge. And this is the zero, so this is one corner, and then the other corner I have to get to. But I'm just gonna drag this all the way across until I get to the other corner, so I can just run across again and make it easy. It right, looks like that is the edge. Oh, not this direction though. Oh yeah, it is. That's the edge right there. Right, that's the roof. We'll place one more because we're gonna subtract that all the way across. And it says the price is high right now, but it's not gonna subtract something that's not there because we have all this empty space on the floor we're at. So it's not actually that much. I mean, it's going to be a lot, but it's not that much. And I'll dig down one more just because... Ah, not enough coins. Uh, okay, do it again. So we got 1.3 mil. Let's just go across until 1.3 million. So that's how much? 600,000, 7, 8, 9, 1 mil, 1.3, 1.2. And I still have 95k. Wow, that actually used a lot of money. I thought I would have a lot of money left over. Shoot, I need to build a way back up. I'm going to go back to my home. So I want to be able to come down easier. I guess we'll do it here, like in the middle-ish. No, I kind of want to do it like, yeah, like right here. We'll make it all fancy looking later, but we'll just do it right here. Get our tool, subtract grass. And we'll make it like a three by three. Oh, wow. That's kind of weird looking. We just delete it and it's like this big cavern. Okay, we'll make it a three by four. So it's more a cavey looking. To make it stand out, we'll just throw some dirt on top, I guess. That looks cool. And then we'll build stairs back up. Cool, now we got stairs back up. Hopefully I don't hit my head on this. Okay, cool, it's just enough. All right, need more money to fill this out and then we'll continue on from there. It's dark down here. I wanna see if I push it straight down this hole that we made originally. Okay, it's still a good spot to put it. Okay, directly where we're standing. Yeah, so we have that down. Okay, everything's cleared out. All this nice open area, we could think clear. So this is something I found out from my brother. I've noticed it in other people's builds too. Not everyone really knows this, but you don't have to have these roads like they're just for looks and cars to go around. Like if you want to make a delivery, like say I want to build, let's just build a small warehouse down here. Delivery has been placed from the construction yard up here and it's being delivered. So the timer it takes for something to get delivered to your plots and stuff like that is just distance. It doesn't, it's not the path to get there or anything like that. It's literally just distance. I'm going to sell that. With that being said, the reason why I have this underground in that specific spot, because if we go over to the construction yard, I tried to explain it earlier, but now it was kind of weird to explain without it doing there. 
being there. So the screen area, we wanted to cover the whole city, including this little corner down here in the bottom left. But also have enough room for everything else kind of around. But right, right about there, you know. So I placed that there underground. So that one thing underground covers everything in that green circle I just showed you. So we're going to place a construction yard down here for every resource. That's the farthest point it can be from the corner. So we're going to build the other construction yards coming down this way. Now, of course, someone might have the argument about how I'm using these construction yards because people like to put as many resources as they can into one because whenever it delivers to a lot of land like these big towers, it can get all those resources in one and just build the tower in one go instead of having to deliver multiple times. But I mean, at this point of the game, when you're building stuff, you're building multiple things. So say it takes four resources, as long as you have four buildings, it's going to deliver it even faster than if you would just use one construction yard. So I mean, if you're building more than four things, which usually all these things take four or five resources, which is what we're going to be building at, you know, the rate. So it's perfectly fine to build stuff up like that. I'm going to go back down there and just start building all the resources. So I guess we're just going to go down the line of all this industry stuff, but we have all the resources. So we'll just go down the line down here. For this one, it's going to be wood, but we have a large tree farm. We'll just do that. And we're just doing this over and over. Construction yard for stone. Next, we need the lumber. We'll build another construction yard and then a large tree farm next to the lumber. And then we can build the office buildings. It's the crazy one we got. Seconds for clients, or we can do eight clients, zero seconds. Much more job slots, but that's fine. And then we'll need brick. So we can build another construction yard. Oh, we need more people. Every now and then we're going to have to go up and build like apartments and stuff. All right, just threw down some more apartments. Should be fine. Yeah, 1,700 unemployed. Perfect. Not perfect. We're going to use them. But still, that's good for us. So this was going to be brick. And because I don't want to build too far out in this corner, I'm going to like just start putting them this direction as well, like on this side. Another construction yard. And we're just going to rinse the princess over and over. Construction yard. Now we need ore. We could do glass. So construction. So this will be for sand, and then we'll do glass. We need another where Our back. What are these called? Construction yard. Glass factory. You can already see them getting delivered because of all these other ones we have down here. It's really nice. Construction yard. And we need another office building. Oi. Mess are all built up. Once that delivers, we're all good. Oh, we have 100% happiness. I didn't even change anything. I went from 99 to 100. All I did was build more things. Maybe because of the jobs. That's probably why. Yeah, now there's some unemployed. They're 99%. Interesting. Didn't know that. So we got concrete. What do we need now? Full steel plastic. And oil. Coal steel plastic oil. That's it. All right, now the office is done. Steel is going to export to the warehouse. Or construction yard. Keep saying warehouse. Now plastic. I remember plastic was pretty easy, wasn't it? Oil and coal. Oh, that's easy. We'll make it right here. Should be all the resources. It's going to take a few seconds for everything to get full, but once it is, it'll be nice. Let's just build up more um, banks because money is annoying. I like banks. So, I mean, theoretically, this whole thing should just deliver by, like, not even have to do a thing. Not including this construction yard. I bet it's going to deliver something, but, you know, I don't, I don't even need this anymore. It's going to take a bit, but it should deliver everything. Oh, it's being made. I'm going to make the modern factory. There we go. It's being made. Cool. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. That's cool. That was a lot of work for doing nothing, but that adds up. When you want to do big projects, man, you can just... Everything's just made. Same thing with this. This should just be made. Bam. Don't have to worry about it, man. That's nice. Looks like a mess. I could have done better, but for the sake of, like, understanding the process and what every yard is. Because this one, I know for sure, is this concrete right here. Right? This one, I know, is plastic. The, let's say this one right here. I know that's sand, because it's right next to sand. Because what you could do is you just place down... And you would get better coverage doing it this way, but you place down the construction yards all next to each other. And then you can build the um, actual pieces you're going to put in those yards just out in a corner somewhere away. But I like it how it is. Alright, and that's going to pretty much sum up this whole video. So we got the whole like auto delivery of every single resource. Say we want these medium houses, small. Let's go with the shotgun here. And then, you know, let's do a modern just right there. And let's throw, I don't know, a warehouse there for some reason. Just because we can. I don't know. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheels are cool. Statue of a fountain. You know, just like some random stuff. This little Asian shop. What about some uh, public services? A walk-in clinic. Just put that there. Water treatment plant. Put that there. Everything will deliver. And we don't even have to, like, touch anything. We don't have to manage our resources. Eventually, we might have to, like, double the amount of concrete that goes into the construction yard. But... Everything's done. 
everything gets delivered. It takes a bit of time, but everything does get delivered. Especially steel. Steel and concrete we'll need to double up on. Bam. I mean, we just got all these things. Like, I, I didn't even have to manually pick and drop for everything or go to the construction yard and drop things over and over and over. I didn't do any of that. It just gets built. We can do whatever we want now. I'm gonna sell these because I don't need them, but you get the idea, you know? You're essentially in creative mode after that. Like, once you get all those down, you can build as much as you want. And you can even put down a bunch of these bank towers down there. Eventually, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna, like, demolish this whole top layer and build this crazy looking city but that's good that's pretty much your tutorial on how to go into creative mode you're just going to maximize your efficiency on these construction yards because they are crazy yeah hope you enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and give the video a like and if you like this kind of content i create a whole lot more like this so consider subscribing and if you'd like to see some more that'll be it for today i'll be making another episode like i said i've got plans for it all I'll see you next time Bye bye